Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your career reading for May 2021. Jumping straight into it with an Oracle card message for my Libras, please, Spirit. Oracle card message for my Libras for their career reading for May 2021. Career reading for my Libras for May 2021. And last shuffle, career reading for my Libras for May 2021. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. All right. Oh, I've been getting this for like every sign today. I did Taurus, Cancer, Aries, Leo, and you have, you are rare and free. There are not many like you. Number 38. You can look up that angel number, break it down to a 10. And the overall energy is all must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. Number 13. You could break that down to a four. Taurus got this as well. Taurus got that card, so you can watch the Taurus reading. But let's get into the tarot for my Libras. Career 2021 reading for my Libras. Career 20. Libra career reading for May 2021. Please, Spirit. Last shuffle. May 2021 career reading for my Libras. So, all I feel like most signs right now, all signs really, are realizing what they're meant to do in life. If you're feeling like the odd one out or in your career field, you're doing everyone's job and pleasing others or living for others, you're, you're going towards what you actually wish to do. First card is the Hermit card, Virgo. So you could have Virgo significantly in your chart or be dealing with one or be a Virgo Libra cusp. We have the Empress, which is Libra, Virgo, and Gemini. So coming out the gate with two major arcanas, Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. And then we have the Three of Wands. Your ship's coming in. Overall energy, the full card Aquarius. Wow, like all three out of these six are major arcanas. How is this major arcana? I said six. This is five cards. Three out of five. So, a majority of this is Major Arcana. So, you have the Ace and the Three of Wands. You know how great that is. <laughs> all these cards. Like, this is an amazing reading already. So, you've gone into Hermit mode because I feel like you've been making everyone else happy. You've been feeling blocked by other people's obligations, making everyone else happy, trying to please everyone. But you stick out like a sore thumb because you are meant for so much more than you've been given. And with the Hermit card, you've gone into hiding and you're see or you're just seeking your own inner guidance. And with the Empress, that's who you are. That's who you're meant to be. That's you. You are the Hermit and the Empress. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or a feminine energy. But you're speaking your truth or you're seeing your truth because your, sh your ships are coming in. I feel like you speak your truth or see your truth, you're calling. I'm getting the word, you're calling. Something about you're calling, you're calling, you're calling. I don't know if you're physically calling some right now or someone's calling you. I, I feel like a phone is ringing right now. My ears, I feel it. Like you're calling, you're calling, you're calling. I don't know why I feel the need to say that. Maybe that's going to be the title. I'm going to write it down before I forget. Your calling. And the overall energy is the full card, a new beginning, also Aquarius. So yeah, you're going on a, um, you're doing something different. You're going, you're going after your calling. I don't know why I keep feeling the need to say that. I'm sorry if it sounds repetitive. Let's clarify this message for my Libras, please, Spirit. Clarify this message for my Libras, please, Spirit. Last shuffle. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> Clarify this message for my Libras, please, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. That was good, too. Yes. Yeah. All right. Clarifying the Hermit card is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from something that's not serving you. You've withdrawn, withheld. I feel like you've been withheld from. You've been held back. Or a Virgo has been holding you back. You're walking away from a Virgo or you're just, you following your inner guidance and you're walking away from something. Yep, seven of cups because you're confused. I don't know if you're, like I said, Virgo, Libra, cusp. 
whatever. You're walking away from something that's no longer serving you, that's caused you confusion. You're walking away from the confusion. You're no longer confused and you're trusting yourself. Clarifying the Empress is the hangman. Yeah, you've been withholding from something. The hangman and the hermit are all cards of withholding, sitting still, stagnation and stuff like that. Underneath this card, underneath all must have prizes is choices, feeling blocked or restrained. And But underneath that is becoming braver. So you've been withheld or blocked by someone or something or you felt that way, but you're seeing things from another perspective. You've gained enlightenment and then with the Nine of Pentacles, you're going off on your own. So you're no longer allowing this higher up, whether it's a mother or a CEO or a boss or this corporation or some type of, some type of binding here. You feel stuck, you feel trapped, you feel hidden. Like someone's trying to hide you or you've been hidden in a company. You've been doing all the work, but you felt hidden. And like, you're no longer doing that. You're going off on your own with the nine of pentacles. That's the Beyonce card, you know, feeling single, solid, stable, and abundant, financial independence. You're, yeah, you're walking away from some type of confusion or illusion. You're realizing you have a lot of options with the seven of cups. And with the nine of pentacles and the, the hangman, you're seeing something from another perspective. Like you're not trapped at all. You're actually very much free, very much so above the situation with the Empress. And the Nine of Pentacles, you're going towards independence, financial independence. And then we have the High Priestess. Your reading is so spiritually guided, divinely guided. I mean, this is your like, this is insane. Clarifying the Ace of Swords is the High Priestess Pisces. So you're seeing the truth about a High Priestess or a higher up. Someone who values themselves highly. I feel like it could be a positive truth. You could be hearing the truth from a high priestess. Some, some, someone religious. Or seeing the truth. Yeah, the six of pentacles. I feel like someone's going to tell you how you've been treated unfairly in a situation. It could be a high priestess. Either a high priestess or a Pisces has been withholding from you and treating you unfairly or you're seeing the truth through a high priestess telling you that you've been treated unfairly. So I feel like there's a feminine energy, a female, I'm getting female strongly, gender wise, female who's been treating you unfairly. I don't know if it's religiously or corporation wise. I don't know if religion and your career go hand in hand. But there's a Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, Gemini, who's been with, oh, treating you unfairly. Hold on real quick. Whew. Sorry about that. The right side of my throat started burning. Someone did not want me to tell you that. I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess, it could be me speaking my, speaking your truth to you. <clears throat> Someone doesn't want you to know you've been shortchanged in a situation. You've been accepting less than you deserve for a very long time. You've been you've been working whatever this is. Someone's told you that you aren't you could be replaced, you're nothing, this, that, and the third. It couldn't have been it might not have been that straightforward. But someone has been making you feel mentally and emotionally and financially that you you need them. They don't need you pretty much. All must have prize is trying to please everyone. You've been trying to do this person's work and please them for a very long time. But the truth is, you've been getting sold short. You're actually not meant to nurture or please anyone. You're meant to, you're rare and free. There are not many like you. You are a rarity. And so you're going to break away from this corporation, this person, place, or thing, whatever it is for you, as career-wise, and or financially, and you're going on your own. Someone's telling you the truth about something. Some of you could be literally becoming nuns or nurses or some type of religious practitioner here and that is your truth i'm the high priestess is screaming at me you go from the empress to the high priestess i feel like the high priestess is above the empress even though the empress is all the queens the high priestess is all the queens and the empress clarifying three of wands is the hermit card again definitely virgo i feel like you're definitely being initiated like spiritually you're being initiated, becoming like a, a witch or wizard or whatever you want to call yourself. I know you can call yourself whatever you want. I don't care what gender you are. You could be a witch or a wizard if you want to be, whether you're male, female, or non-binary. I feel like a lot of you, this mysticism, like something intuitively, it has come towards you. 
and if it hasn't yet, it's time for you to go into hermit mode so that you can call it in because the three of wands is clarified by the hermit card. And I don't know what planet that is, Jupiter or Mars or whatever planet is like that, that looks like that. But it's like this person here, that's you in the cloak and then the black cat is calling it in from this, the three of wands and the bat here. It's like some of you could have a black animal, like a, a black dog, black cat, whatever. Of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Some of you could just have a black, um, a candle holder. But you're, you're like being initiated into something. And I feel like it's very spiritual, very religious or spiritual. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, something you are going to work very hard towards. This is, this is deep. This is something I should do extended readings on. This is a deep reading. Overall energy is the three of cups. Whatever this is, and I feel the word doctrine, some type of old school doctrine. With three of cups, it is something to celebrate. And then the nine of cups is wish fulfillment. And yeah, this is whatever this is. It's like you're, you're becoming independent from some type of entity. You're realizing that you're being sold short or being stifled in some way because I feel like you are the high priestess. You're an empress right now or a hermit, but you're meant to be a high priestess and some high, some type of higher up is going to tell you the truth about that. And it's like they got this smirk on this face that they're laughing because it's like you're meant for like a, a thousand times more than a million, billion times more than you believe you are. With the three cups, you're going to be reunited with your true calling. Because I feel like in your past life, you knew it, but you're being reunited with it. I don't know if as a child, you were drawn away from it. But right now, you're being drawn towards it. You're going away from, pretty much this reading is about you going away from trying to please everyone else to becoming a free spirit. And going towards what's meant for you. Because that's what you're meant to do right now, Libra. Yep, you're calling. All right, if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. I'm doing your final oracle card message for my Libras. Final oracle card message for my Libras, please, spirit, and last shuffle. Final oracle card message for my Libras. What is happiness to you? Perfect card to get. Trust that intuition because, again, the hermit card is here twice and the high precious. I said precious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you have the hermit here twice and the high priestess. So your intuition is on a billion. Trust it. What is happiness to you? Go for it. Free spirit, go for it. Being religious, a nun, a nurse, go for it. Spiritual practitioner, go for it. Advice, whatever. Trust it. Whatever you feel drawn to at this time, Libra, trust it. Whether it's sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Mars, Jupiter, Libra, if you are watching this, go towards your happiness. Overall, what are you grateful for right now? I feel like you're not a, a vindictive, mean person. So... Being a little selfish right now is what you're meant to do. Walk away from being hidden or hiding yourself. Come out of hermit mode. Your ships are coming in. Because I feel like while you're in hermit mode, you're confused. Leave it. You may feel confused coming out of it, but you're meant to come out of this now. Because it's time for you to celebrate this new beginning. All right? No more pleasing others. Do it for you. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.